Ooh, you don't belong in here. This is the cat's room. So what's going on, guys? I think I figured out the next project I'm gonna do, and I'm going to get started on that, and it is a bunch of old work lights I used to use for making movies. I had to stop using them for movies for certain reasons uh, a few years ago, and I'll explain why in a few. But I think for now, it is time to go ahead and pull these bad boys out. cook an egg on that. Worked for a bunch of my movies and um, <laughs> it's almost caught fire to a couple of sets. Brennan. Yeah. yeah, it's super hot. Damn. Even though we're still on Mars. Is. We'll have to keep an eye on it though. Do, do we know where our fire extinguishers are? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here it is, 10 minutes later, it's still 131 degrees. Not portable at all. At least not if I don't want to catch my car on fire. So I went through it. It turns out I can actually probably mount the fader switch directly to the back of the box. This is great news. This is really great news. This might be an easier project than I thought. Yeah. So far, I just got one switch and one faceplate. I need to get a conduit box, but I also need to get an air filter for my house because it's time to breathe fresh air. It's getting on the fire season. And get one of these bulbs, see if we can't uh, take down the heat. All right, so got some materials. Uh, get home, put this shit together, prototype it, and see what works and what doesn't. So one of these bulbs is a 250 watt halogen and the other one is a 150 watt equivalent LED. And yeah, you can definitely tell which one is which. And I've seen lots of comparisons on YouTube about the two and um, what the important comparisons are and what the benefits of the LED are. One of the benefits of the LED that doesn't get mentioned all the way is uh, one of the primary concerns that I had with the work lights in the first place. So this one is the halogen. And yeah, we're already at uh, 140 Celsius, 284, no, 350. Yeah, this is how bright we are. Just moving around the different parts of the light. We're getting upwards of 400 degrees. And in this one, we're barely breaking 100 degrees. Nope, it's going down, depending on where you're shooting at. Yeah, you can tell which one is gonna be safer for you in the long run, and which one you're gonna be able to load right into your car after a shoot. So by adding LEDs, we're getting roughly the same amount of light and we're making it a little bit safer. Here it is a minute later. It's still roughly around 80 degrees, right on the bulb. Just looking at the surface of the other light here, we're still in the 200s. That's gonna set fire to your car right after you put it in. Now on to the other part, the rotary dimmer. I'm pretty sure that when I was looking and I disassembled the light, I seen that I may be able to just take the mechanism here itself 
and fit it into the pre-existing box with, with the pre-existing wiring and the pre-existing stinger. But the thing that worries me the most is that this is a studded grommet sealed box and I'm going to have to disassemble this. And this is why I bring up prototyping because I'm going to have to kind of design on the fly. We'll see how that goes. So I got it in, now I have to figure out a way to make sure it properly grounds because there's a ground right in here and if that doesn't connect that can cause some problems. So on to the next. Probably going to solder it too. Alright, so if all goes well, it'll look like this. Turn it on, fade it up. So far everything fits. I gotta solder a couple things, I gotta put a couple of wire covers on, and it should be good. Wish me luck. Lather. Lather. Alright, watch out, Lather. So I did it. Check it out. So this is it, I can adjust the uh, intensity. It's actually pretty awesome. As you can tell, the audio ISO is just compensating like a mofo. You can see some more background show up as I'm turning it down. There you go. And I'm not 100% okay with it because kind of took up a little bit more space inside the box than it needed to so it's not exactly safe so probably the next few that I build are probably just going to be connecting in those conduit boxes like I've seen in another tutorial but for a prototype this isn't that bad this is one of my better ones not bad at all Custom, one-of-a-kind, janky, and scary as hell. It's too bright. Turn it off. <laughs> it's not that bright. Nice tone to it. I gotta finish the rest of them so that way I can do all of my good lighting and I can get this aid lit and all that fun stuff. 
So maybe that'll be for another video. But for now, I think that's going to be it. As usual, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you with the next project.